So today's tutorial is going to be on how to apply um, pixies using um, oh shit, Zule cluster gel. And also I'm going to be doing the pointing um, crystals because I've gotten a lot of requests on that. So we're going to start off by filing the surface of the nail if you're working with acrylic or gel you want to make sure that the base of the nail is pretty rough so that the glue I mean the gel could adhere so just enough so pretty rough okay all right so we want it pretty rough now I'm gonna clean it with alcohol and a little lint free wipe so you want to clean off the dust and the reason why you want to roughen it up is because everything adheres better when it's rough so again I'm gonna use the cluster gel and it's pretty thick thick gel and I'm using the Zule 2-in-1 um, brush you could use either side. I'm just going to use this side. And you are going to apply it to the whole nail. Um, add enough. You don't want to add too, too much. But you don't want to be like stingy either. You know, you want to add enough product. Especially if you're working on a long nail. And so normally um, for Pixie, I still put the, the gel on the sides. But the pixie doesn't go all the way. So, next I'm going to get the Zule top coat. And I'm going to put some on top. So that I don't have to cleanse it after. And this also helps... So it could be like really shiny. Alright, so let me close my my jar because you don't wanna you know ruin it. And these are Swarovski. So Just lightly tap it. Damn, it's so pretty. And then depending on the background that you use, like color-wise, the pixies will look different. So I like to go in and push the pixie back in place because you could tell that it got a little deformed and out of shape. So just push it back into shape your finger see and then make sure that they are pressed down into the gel I normally don't ever apply these with glue because they need to be sunk in so here it is. I'm going to put it in the lamp. Alright, so it already dried. And I'm going to show you the sides. So I do not apply any there. Because they will fall off. So from here, from the top, it looks really, really good. Next, I'm going to do a cluster. Well, Patrick. Hi. Hi, Patrick. And so I'm going to roughen up the part where I'm going to put um, the cluster. If you're doing it directly on acrylic, you don't really need to do this spot. I mean this um, right now, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's always best for it to be a little rough. And if you're doing it over gel, you have to do it. Anything over gel needs to be rough. So I'm going to get a like, little ball. 
because again I'm gonna do a cluster and for those of you guys who don't know what a cluster is it is like those um, 3d bling so you want to be very generous and again I am going to add some Zule top coat and I'm apply it on top of the cluster gel and I am going to use my pickup tool it's also on our website to pick up the the bling You could also adhere these with the Zule Bling Adhesive, but sometimes it's a little pain in the butt. Uh-oh. These pointy ones are a pain in the butt, like just period, but if you could make your, your job a little easier, why not? So, there you go. And then I'm just going to add more bling to the nail. Just to show you guys our new crystals also. So these pointy ones, they are Swarovski. But these shapes that I'm going to apply next. 